sorry, that's a little bit better. Okay, so let's also talk about the the little girl who's I guess her parent both of her parents collectively came together and then said like they're basically making her Cinderella. So she's crying online talking about how her parents make her clean. Oh, they make her clean everything. Like children are not slaves. Children are not domestic slaves. Um like <laughs> I understand chores are a real thing. The point of chores is to gradually teach responsibility. So having, you know, one, if you have three people in a household, one is a, a an adolescent child and it's that child's responsibility to take out trash and that's like their chore or maybe their chore is to do the dishes on a Tuesday. There's a whole other thing though where like, especially in the black community, some like, some this has actually happened in a lot of poor communities people are using their children as like domestic slaves so they just dirty up the whole house they fuck up everything and they're like it because you don't pay rent you need to wash all the dishes you need to clean up after me you need to take out the trash you need to do all the shit like that no that's insane like the growing up like watching observing the the normal shit that happens in a functional household is a real part of growing up so like watching adults take out trash watching adults grocery shop and then understanding how to do that that's a real thing now like observing it and maybe even taking a small role and participating in it like having one chore like doing the trash or something or or I don't know whatever it is but it, it definitely is not moving response shifting responsibility from adults to children that's very strange and i think it's also another weird thing where people are talking about domestication and women like women are, there's i mean it's not i'm not saying it's not a translatable skill to know how to cook and clean because it, it, yeah i think it could be but also like like be, just because you're not making 16 course meals at home for a husband doesn't mean that you're like worthless especially when i do think that there's a really serious need for especially like black women and really all women at this point to have the ability to get out into society and provide monetarily for themselves so you need to be able to go figure out how to rent an apartment how to you know pay a phone bill how to you know turn on electricity and pay a water bill like you need that responsibility because um that like the men aren't going to college anymore a lot a lot of them are the neats not in employment or training so they're not working or anything they're not going to be able to not only they can't it's not only that they can't take care of a family they can't take care of themselves so <laughs> like you're going to need to learn how to take care of yourself and the really sad part about like this youth or this child who's being forced into domestic labor so soon is that she's gonna have to neglect all of these like em emotional and interpersonal relationships in school which she's supposed to be having with like after school programs or just having fun outdoors and being a, a youth she's going to have to neglect all of that because she's always indoors doing like things that have to do with her fucking like other family members who are making a mess and it's her responsibility to clean up their mess like it isn't that's slavery and that's actually a form of abuse and the parents who are doing that should be reported if you have a very small role in uh you know a household chore i think that that is fine if you are relegated to all chores in the home or like something crazy. Like I remember when I was growing up, my mom would ask, She, I, it was my responsibility to like do the dishes every single night. Um, and I think we like, we had a dishwasher, but she didn't like to use it or something. I'm not really sure exactly what the issue was, but I hated it. It made me like hate to clean. And even when I first got my apartment, I hired a maid. I legitimately hired a maid because I was like, I don't want to do this. I'm not, I'm just, I'm unwilling. It reminds me too much of her. I hate her. This brings back trauma. So I actually have like a trauma response to cleaning at this point in my life. Like that's where I am because it wasn't a normal relationship with dishes. It was like a, it was like a power grab. 
oh well this is a a, a youthful person oh oh i she's responsible for paying rent even though the, the weird part about this was i've talked about this on this channel before but like my my mom never paid rent because my godfather was actually footing the bill for all for the household you know rent payments so she didn't even have that so she actually had no real uh financial responsibility in in the household and i was doing free labor so and i was i was in school making good grades and stuff so all of that was my responsibility and i had hobbies like i was a part of cheerleading i was in like multiple dance companies so i had my own shit going on and then it's like i'm tired at the end of the day so if she's home and she liked to cook shit so she would fuck up the kitchen like there's like a lot of dishes to do and you're scrubbing that shit by hand it's a lot that wasn't fun for me I didn't have fun. It was like real labor that I, w I wasn't paid for. I did get an allowance, but still I feel like the allowance wasn't really enough to like buy things that I wanted. So I had to get a job in order to buy like clothes that I wanted. So the whole thing was like, I think she missed the point of the chore. Like the, doing, doing household chores as a part of household maintenance for everyone makes sense so like having a youthful person in the home do a small chore to contribute to the house to teach them responsibility is one thing and like sharing collectively sharing responsibility with everyone it's a whole different thing though if you're just like pushing domestic labor onto people who are minors and who aren't financially responsible enough to pay bills that's a whole different shit like i don't know I feel like some people just shouldn't have children. That's like the point of this. Like not everyone shouldn't be a parent and we need to like let that be a whole thing. Let that be a real conversation.